Hey, Tony and Corey here, your Par Weekend Warriors. We're back in the workshop and we're making another yard game. This is gonna be a yard version of Yahtzee. And we're doing it a little bit different, so don't go away. Welcome to the Weekend Warriors Home Improvement Show, built by Par Lumber. Your Weekend Warriors, Tony and Corey. We are making Yardzy. It's a yard game version of Yahtzee. We're gonna take four by four wood and we're gonna cut them into squares and we're gonna use these templates to make our dice. And then we'll have a nice par bucket and you'll be able to roll it out onto the lawn and play Yahtzee. We actually took the score sheet that we found online, printed a sort of large version of it and then laminated it so we could use a dry erase marker to keep score. What we're gonna be doing a little bit differently is we're gonna use four by four uh, we got two different pieces of wood here. One is clear cedar, the other one is dug fir. We're gonna test both, kind of see what we like better. Uh, four by four naturally is three and a half inches by three and a half inches, so we're gonna cut each piece into three and a half inch pieces so we'll have a perfect cube. Then we're gonna round over and sand all of them. But what we're gonna do differently, we're going to use our templates to make the dice. And we're gonna come down and make a little spot face it's gonna be a concave, just like every die you've ever seen. And we're gonna spray paint it black, and it'll look just like that. The first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna tape each of the cubes with painter's tape. Now we're gonna tape all the cube up, and then when we put the spot face on with the drill press, then it will already be taped. We can spray right into that hole, and then pull all the tape off, and then we'll sand it down and get rid of all the bleed, and it should leave us with a pretty cool looking dice. Let's do it. So on this piece, it's not actually long enough to get two pieces out of it. This is a scrap piece of four by four. So to let Tony know what side of the line I want to cut on, I put a little V on the side and an X. So he knows cut on this side. All right, so we got all of our pieces cut. We've got five pieces of clear cedar and three pieces of dug fir. I'm leaning towards cedar because it's nice and light. Dug fir is a little heavier, probably a little denser, so we'll see. Four by four from the mill comes with what's called eased edges. So you'll see on all four sides here, you'll have a nice round over edge. Well, now that we have these cuts, these are no longer eased. So I'm gonna take a router bit and I'm gonna round over all edges on both sides on all of these die. I really like how this turns out. Douglas fir is gorgeous, uh, but I'm really leaning towards the cedar. It's just so much lighter. After Tony gets all the tape on these dice, I'm gonna transfer my template onto each dice so we can get cut. Guy. I think this would be perfect. This is called a four and a half inch speed trim square. <laughs> that cute little thing. How about that? All right, so Tony got all the tape on these. So I was gonna use my template, but I ended up, it was easier for me to just measure out with my speed square, create my lines exactly where I want my divots to go. So I'm gonna load this up into the drill press and start pressing these in one at a time, and then we'll get this thing spray painted and see how it looks. We need to set the depth so it's all the same. Do my best to center this up.
put a, a light coat of black on these dice. I just decided to bring it outside because I don't want to smell paint for the next hour while we finish this project. So, plus I'm super messy. We finally got all these cut, we taped them up, we put our divots in it, we painted them, now we're just waiting for that to dry. We did want to point out, we got this thing halfway through and we started out with this round over bit, thinking we could make the cool little round divots, but it did not work the way we wanted it to. So we ended up switching over to this uh, countersink bit and honestly, it looks pretty good. It went a lot faster. We're gonna wait for these to dry. Don't go away. When we get back, we're going to peel the paint, sand them up, and place them yard Yahtzee. That is pretty good. It's kind of like opening Christmas presents. Oh, we both threw fives. Could Corey throw Yardsy? on the very first time. Well, there you have it, Tony. We got these things done. I think they turned out great. I think they did too. They really looked uh, exactly the way we thought, wanted them to. We did use two different species of wood, cedar and fir. There's quite a bit of difference between the two. Um, lighter and heavier, denser and not so dense. Well, thank you so much for watching. We really had fun with this build. Hopefully you can find some scrap 4x4s in your shop and make yourself a set of Yardsy. We'll see you in the yard. Thank you so much for watching. Please check out our social channels right here, our podcast channels here, or tune into the Weekend Warriors radio show every weekend across the Pacific Northwest. This has been another episode of your Par Weekend Warriors. We'll see you next time. So we have to do 126 holes, and if it's is that it? Yeah. <laughs>